In this tutorial, we'll explain how triggers work in Quake. Triggers are used to make events happen in Quake, such as opening a locked door, teleporting a player to another position, turning lights on in a dark room, setting platforms into motion, and etc. Triggers are basically entities that have a target property that points to other entities. When the triggering entities are set off, they cause certain things to happen to their targeting entities. One of the most common triggering used is a walkover trigger. We apply special triggering entities to brushes that will be invisible in Quake, and we place these brushes at key places in our map. When a player walks over these invisible triggering brushes, the triggers will be set off. In this demonstration, we'll continue from our previous spotlight map, and add a walkover trigger to turn the spotlight on. By convention, we use the trigger texture for our trigger brushes, even though the brushes will be invisible in Quake. We first add a brush and position it to cover the triggering area in our room. Then we need to apply the entity Trigger Once to this brush. While the brush is selected, we right click, go to Apply Entity, down to Trigger, and select Once. This will pop up the Entity Property window for us. First we need to specify the target of our trigger. We enter the name Spotlight that we will later assign to our light. We can change the sound the trigger makes and the message that will show up on the screen when it is triggered. We can also enter a value into the health field of our trigger brush. If the health value is greater than 1, then our trigger brush will be visible in Quake and needs to be shot at before it is triggered. If we set the value to 0 or leave the field blank, the trigger brush will be invisible in Quake and will be triggered when a player walks over it. We finally select our spotlight and assign the identifying name spotlight to it to complete our target link. We also change the spawn flag so it starts turned off and switches on when triggered.